have new details tonight on a string of robberies at South Florida pharmacies, one in Hialeah. Four teenagers are now under arrest, and police say they were trying to get away with a powerful prescription drug, including oxycodone. CBS 4's Oralia Ortega is in Hialeah with the latest. Surveillance cameras are rolling inside a Walgreens in Hialeah off Lejeune and East 9th Street as a man breaks into the store around 2.30 in the morning Saturday. Hialeah police say he runs to the pharmacy section and takes off with thousands of dollars worth of powerful narcotics in just a couple of minutes. Two sets of brothers ranging in age from 16 to 19 years old now under arrest. They were breaking into a Walgreens on Saturday night. They steal oxycodone, hydrocodone, and they steal morphine, very powerful narcotics, and then they sell them in the black market. Hialeah police believe John Luis and Joanki Labadi and Raul and Albert Ponce also broke into another Walgreens in Hialeah off West 76th Street and 33rd Court shortly before 4 a.m. Thursday. They beefed up patrols around the stores after that break in. We knew they were going to strike again, so we were watching all the Walgreens at night. And we caught them. We caught them in action. Police say Saturday night detectives spotted the break in and the teens tried to flee in a 2014 Mercedes S550. They ended up crashing it, running out of the car. One jumped into a canal, the rest of them scattered. We set up a perimeter, we caught all four of them. The suspects all going before a judge. Hialeah police say the teens all have extensive criminal records, as noted by prosecutors during the hearing. We believe it's responsible for murder. Hialeah police are looking into other cases to see if the teens are connected. This investigation is going to continue with the help of Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Somebody is requesting this from them. Somebody is buying it from them. The teens all remain in jail. The 16-year-old had a hearing today, and he's got another one scheduled for tomorrow. But the other three had their bonds set at more than $2 million. Live in Hialeah, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. Aurelia, thank you.